everyone welcome back um, this is Navin from UI brains in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the conditional and looping statements in JavaScript so today's concept is conditional as well as statements in JavaScript okay uh, so here uh, why actually the conditions and looping see uh, why are we learning the JavaScript concept is why are we learning this programming concept is uh, we have to perform a processing logic for any system or for any application right uh, to perform a processing logic we have learned till now how to declare a variable and how to perform different different operations and different different type of data which can assign to a variable right uh, so here we are also going to check the conditions uh, we may check uh, in the processing logic in the part of uh, processing logic we are going to check a set of conditions if this condition successful go to the next other these calculations if the condition fails then go for these calculations so every processing will have uh, different different uh, conditions okay uh, something like if you are doing a payment okay or when you're purchasing a product from any uh, e-commerce website right uh, if person has select a product uh, then proceed for the buy option okay if he has not not select an option so please ask him to select a product okay so like that you have to perform a lot of conditions and also you will perform a looping okay so the so total number of products uh, he has selected and the total price uh, so each and every product you have to calculate together so this is called looping so in programmatic uh, this plays a major role like conditions and loopings so let's understand what are the condition statements and looping statements available in JavaScript and also let's start with an examples of them okay uh, so first of all uh, conditional statements uh, if else is one condition statement and the second one is switch so if else and switch these both are conditional statements and the third one uh, looping we have a uh, for loop and uh, we have while loop and also we have um, do while loop So same like C language uh, in Java and almost every programming language will have these type of uh, conditional statements and looping statements. Okay, so let's understand what are this. Uh, these two comes under conditional. These all comes under looping. Okay, so what is if else? I think uh, we have already seen this if else in the previous uh, example video. So if else means if the condition is successful, go with some other statements. Uh, if the condition is fails, then go with an alternate statement. Okay, it's like alternates for the condition. So let's understand what how the if else works in JavaScript. So here I will do one thing. I'll just copy the first folder. I'll paste it. I'll change uh, the folder name. 05 underscore js underscore um, conditional statements okay I don't need this and also the HTML I change conditional statements copy and paste okay so back to here let me open this in the browser once conditional statements let me right click inspect console okay so i have it console ready so let's start with the conditional statements now uh, the very first conditional statement i want to dictate i mean i want to tell you is if else okay so let's take an example what is that is um, here i'll take uh, time okay time is around just take uh, 10 o'clock okay if the time is around morning 10 o'clock you have to say a good morning you have to say the wish message to be good morning if it is um, after 12 o'clock you have to say good afternoon okay if it is after evening 5 o'clock you have to say I mean um, good evening like that so I want to display such type of wish messages using this condition so let's, let's have a look how it looks how it works um, here I 
I say let time is equal to 10 o'clock. Okay, I'm assuming 10 o'clock. Now I write if um, uh, do one thing let message is equal to empty. I'll take a wish message. Wish message is empty. Now I will check the condition. So if the timer is less than or equal to 10. If the time is less than or equal to uh, up to 12 o'clock, I'll take. Okay, then the wish message will be good morning. Okay, next. Uh, if the condition fails, I say else. But I want to write one more condition. If this condition is successful, this one. If the condition fails, I have to check another condition. You can go with uh, if else if uh, time is greater than 12 and time is less than or equal to uh, evening 5 o'clock is going to be the 17. Then I will say wish message is equal to good, uh, let's say good afternoon up to 5 o'clock else if another time is greater than 17 and uh, so time is less than or equal to 23 up to 23 so 0 to 23 okay so wish message is equal to so good evening okay next else so I'm not checking any, any extra condition if all this condition fails I want to make a worst case here wish message is equal to um, enter a proper time so always remember if starts first else ends in between you, can, you want to check any other condition you can make a number of else okay so if this success it prints this otherwise it go for this otherwise it go for this if nothing is success then go for the worst cases else now let me say a console log so console dot log of wish message okay fine uh, so let's save it and check uh, uh, the answer you get the message is good morning because time is 10 o'clock i'll make it as 13 13 means uh, it's afternoon one o'clock so you get the answer is good afternoon i'll make this as um uh, 16 16 also good afternoon four o'clock i'll make 18 evening six o'clock you get the answer is good evening so up to 23 0 to 23 is numbers uh, if i make something called 25 there is no uh, time called 25 right so answer is enter a proper time okay so that is the answer but when i say minus 25 can you guess what is the answer do you think any time will contain negative values no right uh, then what could be the answer it must be the answer enter proper time because it is not a proper time but you know you got answer is good morning uh, actually why you got answer good morning is see i said time less than or equal to 12 less than or equal to 12 less than or equal to even 0 even less than 0 even minus 25 also less than 12 right so this is success so what extra you have to do is so time is greater than or equal to 0 and uh, this one so starts from 0 to 12 good morning if it is less than 0 you get the answer is enter proper time okay so extra condition between 0 to 12 this is 13 to 17 i mean greater than 13 i mean greater than 12 it means 13 onwards or else you can take greater than or equal to 13 your wish okay fine uh, this is the if else condition uh, but one problem with if else condition here is um, see if uh, assume I'll take uh, yeah minus 20 y okay now um, I want to check I mean this answer will be what enter proper time right so problem is whenever you are checking a condition assume this is the last answer is last one so it will not jump directly to the last statement okay first we'll check 
this one and then this one and then this one and then this one so how many number of statements you write uh, if the case matches the last one so it always starts from the first case okay something like uh, if you write some hundred statements okay so my answer will be the last statement the hundred statement so in the problem of if else statements what happens is even though your answer is last statement it will not execute the last statement directly what it does is it will start with the first statement condition fails then go for the next statement and again condition fails go for the next statement so one two three four five up to 99 it will check 99 conditions will check and then lastly jump to the 100th condition so that's how if else condition is going to work uh, if you want to know exactly what happens behind the scenes uh, in the javascript debugging concept i tell you how really uh, the flow uh, i mean application flow works okay uh, but if you want the statement to switch to the direct statements if you want if you don't want to check the all the conditions you want to switch to the direct 100th condition then you have to go for the switch statement okay so what is the next thing is switch statement so what is the switch is it will never check each and every individual condition it will directly jump to the the actual statement okay it will skip all the remaining uh, false cases it will only go to the true case okay so this is going to discuss the next video thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you